Hi, welcome to another week of Project Life videos at Two Peas in a Bucket. I'm Garden Girl Marcy Penner, and I'm going to be sharing a week of my Project Life with you guys today. What I wanted to do was to share with you a little bit first about how I store my memorabilia. The week that I'm going to be doing has a lot of memorabilia in it, so I thought it might be useful to share with you guys how I store that and, um, and organize it. So I start with this blue box. I have uh, it on a table beside my scrapbook room, kind of in the doorway of like the dining room, living room in that area there. And it sits out in the open where it's very accessible to everybody. And what that does is it really encourages them to leave little things in it for me to include in Project Life. So they'll often throw in tags from t-shirts or little drawings and things like that. And it gives me just a little bit extra to add to my pages so I don't have to fill it all with photos and I can add little snippets of our life in there as well. So what happens is at the end of the week I'll have a whole bunch of stuff, hopefully, and I'll gather that all together. So this week has, yeah, quite a bit of stuff. So we've got some uh, drawings, some a grocery list, some receipts from a trip to the city. And so what I'll do is I'll clip it together and I'll take it at the end of the week with my planner which is here. Um, I'll link you guys up to this uh, in the comment section but what it is is a planner that has sections for each day and then a template drawn of a typical uh, page that I'll use and sometimes I do change the pockets but that's but this is just a typical week. Um, so throughout the week I'll be writing down just little notes of things that have happened or if someone says something hilarious I'll write that down and I'll often include some of the memorabilia at the top page of the week. Um, there's a little mem memorabilia section, excuse me, um, just so that I remember to include it. So I'll take my memorabilia and my planner pages to my computer and I'll open up my photos and I'll tag all the photos from that week that I think I might use and then I'll go through them again from there and I'll start to write in the spots on my template, the photos that I'd like to use and then I also will include spots for my memorabilia to go. So basically when I've done all this I have a very good blueprint for the week that I'm going to do, a very good jumping off point and some things may change and I'm not worried about that, I'm okay with that, um, but it gives me somewhere to start and uh, it makes the starting process and like the first third of my pages a lot faster. So that is what I do with my memorabilia and I will share uh, how we put that in a page later. I start by pulling some label stickers, stamps, notepads, washi tape, and other little things that I think I might use on my spread. Lots of blues, oranges, and yellows. I start by adding my photos, journaling cards, and any of the memorabilia that I had collected throughout the week. I usually stick pretty close to what I had written down in my planner, but if I want to move anything around, it's right about now where I do. So I'm going to add a calendar card from Studio Calico, a note paper, a stamp, and a tag, and I'm going to start from here. I'm going to use an October afternoon journaling die cut from the Cakewalk collection, and I'm going to add my journaling explaining why I'm keeping a grocery list. I'm going to stamp the date on using a pseudo calico roller date stamp, which you can never have too many of in my opinion. And I'm going to attach that to the grocery list with a paper clip. There's no rhyme or reason as to which pocket I pick next. So I'm going to take this 3x4 photo and just add a little label at the bottom. I'm going to stamp the date on it, write down the location, and call it done. The photo at the bottom has a lot of dead space in it, so I'm going to take a tag from the Cakewalk Miscellany Pack and I'm going to journal on it. If the background of the photo were lighter, I may have written just directly on there, but I didn't think my journaling would stand out this time. So I'm going to stamp the date on this tag as well and adhere it to that space. I'm going to add a brad at the bottom. I love the October afternoon brads that come in different sizes. 
I use a lot of brads and wood veneer in my project life spreads. I don't mind bulk in my layouts, but I like to choose elements that are a bit thinner for my project life. I like to keep a whole year's worth of project life into two albums, and if I choose thinner embellishments, I can. I have a cardstock speech bubble, and I'm going to take some Jilly Bean Alphas and use an X-Acto knife and a ruler to line them up. I cut the speech bubble with my Cameo, and normally I try to cut a whole bunch of shapes at a time. I'll cut speech bubbles, stars, arrows, things that I use quite often. And I'll keep these nearby so that when I do a pocket and add one, I don't have to start and stop when I go on to the next one. I have them ready and available. I'll sometimes miss them different colors too, but normally they stay white. So I'm going to finish up my title and add that to the speech bubble. I'm just going to eyeball my placement. And I'm happy with that, so I'm going to stick that down. I'm going to put that on an October Afternoon Library card. I'm just going to adhere it for now, but later on I'll also stitch it down. So I'm happy with it at the top of my card. So now I'm just going to add my journaling. We visited our new IKEA, and I definitely thought that that warranted a spot in my project life. I don't think my husband thinks so, but I do. I add a lot of journaling in my project life, I think to make up for the fact that I don't add a lot in my normal layouts. So I'm going to put this beside my photo and see if there's anything else I need to add. I think the photo needs something, so I'm going to take the Good Stuff stamp from the Kelly Perky stamp set that's exclusive to two peas. I print my photos at home on matte paper, so I'm just going to ink it up with regular black ink, and that will work just fine. I like that, so I'll leave that one. And I'm going to move on to this photo that has a lot of white at the bottom. I'm going to add this Ormolu tag, and I'm going to maneuver around a wood veneer snowflake from Studio Calico to see where I want it. So I think I like it at the top, so I will adhere that. And I'm going to add some colors. So I'm going to grab a package of my Mind's Eye enamel dots, and I'm going to add some of the blues. I leave it on the backing so that I can determine which sizes I want to use. And I think I'm going to use the larger of the small of the dark blue and then the really tiny of the light blue. I'm also going to add my journaling to the left of the label. Here's another 3x4 card that really doesn't warrant a lot of journaling, so a simple label is going to work just fine for that. So I'm going to adhere that on the photo, journal, and add a little arrow, and move on. I'm going to see if this tag can possibly cover the distracting elements in the photo. It doesn't quite cover it all the way, so I'm just going to leave it at the top. I'm going to add a piece of freckled fawn washi, and then use the tag to do my journaling. I'm going to trim off the excess, and then I'm going to see if I can fill in that little space. I like that star, so I'm going to stitch that down. I have some tags that I want to fit in a 3x4 pocket. So I'm going to position those and I'm going to get a piece of pattern paper to see what I would like to use for a background. I like how the yellow pops against the navy, so I'm going to go with that one. So I'm going to adhere those down so they don't fly around in the pocket. And I'm just going to journal at the top just quickly about what those tags represent. I like to include a week in review card in every spread, so this time I'm going to use a tag. I'm going to mark where I want to trim it. And I'm going to use either the week in review stamp from the Kelly Perky set or a stamp from the KI Memories set. So I'm going to take that out and lay that over and see if it fits. 
I like the looking back stamp and it fits. So I'm going to use that one. I'm very happy KI Memories is back and making scrapbooking products. They've always been one of my favorite companies. So I'm going to put that on my acrylic block, ink it up, and just line it up one more time before I press down, just to make sure. And I like how that looks, so I'm going to press down. And I'm going to add my journaling. Um, my Recon Review cards, I usually use a checklist format. I'll usually include things that didn't have a photo or weren't big enough stories to warrant a pocket on their own. So that could be things like my son's birthday supper with his grandma or my husband building me a tripod. Little things like that that aren't big events but they complete the week. So I'm going to finish journaling on this side of the tag. And then I'm going to trim it down to size and make sure that it fits. So I don't like that these tags look like they're just floating around. So I'm going to take the aqua twine from Whisker Graphics and I'm going to tie it around the card. I think it's going to keep the tags a little bit grounded and not, and not just floating there. I like that much better. I forgot to mark down the date on the calendar, so I'm just going to mark that with an arrow. And I'm going to take this Evilicious stamp and I'm going to work on this next card. I want to stamp the stamp on the top part of the note paper. I love these notepads from Kickerland. They're the perfect size for Project Life. So I'm going to ink that and stamp that and I stamped crooked so I'm going to stamp again so that it looks like I was messy on purpose. When I have two 3x4 elements that are going to fit in a 4x6 pocket I usually take them and just adhere them to a random index card. This will help them just not slide behind each other or get shuffled around too much. So I'm going to position that properly and then I'll just trim off any extra. I'm going to add my journaling and I'll be filling up that whole spot so I don't have to worry about adding any other elements to complete that portion. So now what you didn't see was I dropped an ink pad on my photo so that's why that washi tape is there. Um, but now I want to add a wood veneer star to the middle of my camera. It just needed a little something. So it was either going to be a gem or a star and I think I like the star so we'll do that. I don't think the tag in my calendar pocket looks quite done so I'm going to take the memo brad from the 9 to 5 set from October afternoon and I'm going to put that in the hole of the tag and hopefully that will add a little bit extra. Yeah, I like that much better. So we'll add that in and tuck it back. This was the memorabilia that didn't fit in the smaller pockets of my spread. So I'm going to tuck it into a six by 12 page protector and I'm just gonna shake it so that they sit along the edge and I'm going to stitch along the side so that they don't move around. So here you can see where I've stitched it and I'm just going to take the excess and trim that off with the scissor. I'm going to use an October afternoon label and I'm going to stick the label directly on the page protector. And I just want to journal a little bit about what is in the page protector. So this is what the spread looks like with that 6x12 page protector. And here's what it looks like without. So thanks for watching and I hope you're enjoying the Project Life weekly series.